Welcome back to my battle map tutorial series. I started working on a special water effects waves and things like that when I realized I didn't have a real good video on just basic water textures. Um, and I've got a lot of water textures in my base templates, which if you're a patron of mine, you get access to my base templates and you can just steal those or how to create your own. So I figured I'd make a quick, a quick video on how to create your own. So if you go out to Google and obviously do water texture seamless, you're going to come up with tons of different uh, water textures um, that you can use. And like here's a nice one for rough water and stuff. And here's, you know, I would say choppy water, which is a nice size. Um, here's a nice base water texture. Um, and again, what you're looking for is a seamless water texture. Um, so again, if you go out here real quick, uh, here's that image. So again, to see if it's a seamless image, what you want to do is go to Filter, Other, and Offset. And what it does is it's going to offset the edges of the images, wrapping the image around. So again, when I go here, I'm going to offset it by 250 by 250. And I'm doing that because it's I usually try and get it in the center. So for a 500 pixel, 250. As you can see, if I go 150, you know, I sort of shift this image over slightly um, you know 245 you know it keeps shifting it slightly um, and what you are looking for is a seam in the middle let me show you what happens when you do get a seam in the middle that's uh, I think it's this guy yep so you filter other offset see I got a seam here that's very visible so if you created a pattern out of this um, you would clearly get some hard artifacts that would be adjust that you need to fix up whereas here I'm not getting any artifacts so I can just go and make a pattern so again to make a pattern you just select the entire image area that you want to make the pattern about go to edit and then define pattern so when I go over here I can then paste those in and as you can see I've got you know a bunch of water images and this is uh, a mixture of water images so this may be these may be good enough just here's some muddy water um, here's this water, here's some bright water, um, and just some other images, source of images. Uh, certain random guy did this, he's uh, on Battle Maps as well. Um, he posted these three textures, which are some great water textures. They're not seamless, but you could easily make them seamless, but they're also very large images. Um, you know, they're 2000 by 2000, which is very good. And that's actually what I use for a lot of my stuff. So again, here I've got this, and here's one of his water textures. If I just drag this over, and or you know paste, you know paint it over, and then adjust the opacity. See how I'm getting sort of a depth to it. You know, I'm getting different depths. It's giving it more of a 3D effect rather than just you know a flat image here. And that's what I've done here, as you can see, it's sort of got the depth, you know, it's sort of like you're looking in like five, six inches of water. And again, here's the similar, but it's more of an ocean colors. And that's just, it's all the same images. All these are the exact same images, or I would I want to say base images, but they're different, uh, just transparencies and uh, color settings. So here it's a little bit more muddy. Here it's a little bit more bright mud. Um, and this one even goes a bit brighter for like in the sunlight this is a nice bog water you know it's you know a little bit darker in the swamp or something and here's a, another one that's offset and just some general images i mean i have other water you gotta hide all these again i've got other water layers as well on my templates you know here's one i'm not happy with that uh, i don't use it much but i figured it's there here i've got rushing water or i would say rough water um for that and again that's that other image that I made into a uh, seamless image uh, but that's you know simply how you can get some quick water textures and you can also you know go for here if I drag this guy over to you know if I'm trying to make an ocean um, texture and obviously now this one's not as big but I can just go here and adjust the transparency and now it looks more like I'm looking down into a maybe a wading pool or the edge of the ocean um, or I'd do this. I wouldn't want to make this texture a pattern because it's too repetitive. You got too many 
elements that would repeat over and over and it'd be a bit too much. But by just going like this, I can make it, you know, I could paste this as part of the coastline and then just fade out the edges. Um, but again, that's just how to make different types of water textures as I use in most of my videos um, for simplicity. And it just gives it a more realistic effect. That's all for today. I am going to be doing a video on special water effects, waves and such, which I hope to get to later today. Thanks. Bye.